Hello kids, and today we have three amazing games. So let's play our first game. Let's start. Today we're gonna learn about the shapes and the puzzles. We're gonna solve the squirrel puzzle and the zebra puzzle. Great. So let's start. And first, let's take the yellow shape. And you can see that this yellow shape has only two holes in it. So let's find on the shape board where we can place this yellow shape. So here is like one, two, three, four, five. But we only need two. Let's count together this. One and two. It's perfect for our shape. So let's place. Great. Well done. And then let's take other yellow shapes, right? Let's find them. Here is another one, another, and the last one. So we have three of them. One, two, three. Great. Let's take this one and place on our shape board. One, then goes two, and last one, three. So together we have four shapes. One, two three and last one four great amazing well done and let's open the first puzzle pieces so here we have this puzzle piece and let's look at the small image can you see yes this is the zebra puzzle piece and this is the corner piece so we should place on the right top corner like this and let's take other puzzle pieces so let's take three. One, two, and three. And let's turn around them. Okay, here we have the head of the zebra. And we can connect with this puzzle piece with, that we just placed, like this. Great. And this one is the squirrel puzzle. But before we try to combine the puzzle pieces, let's complete the zebra and let's find the puzzle pieces that corresponds to that board. So let's find them and let's turn around all of them. So here is the zebra, here is the zebra. I think this one also from the zebra puzzle. So then let's open others. So this one also, it's a zebra legs. Let's open this one. It's a zebra face, the part of the zebra. So we're gonna move here. And we have few left that we need to turn around. So before we start uh, the puzzle pieces, we need to turn around all the puzzles. So here is the zebra here. Uh, I think it's also, and this is the tail of zebra. Let's take them together here. And let's first, the way that we're gonna solve the puzzle is gonna be finding the corner pieces. So here is the first, the second, and the third one. So right now we just need to look at the image and find the flower. Here is the flower in the corner, right? So we take the corner piece puzzle and place it like this. Then we take the legs of the zebra. And we look at the image where the legs of the zebra. Can you see? Yes, it's in the left bottom corner. So we take in place. Great. And the last one, we have a tree right in the left top corner. We have a tree. So let's do it. Place. Great. Amazing. And we just found four corner pieces. So the next one, what we should do would be to find the side pieces, right? So that's lying on the side. So let's take this one and we can see that there is the small part of the dirt and the rock. So let's connect. Great, let's take another one puzzle piece, which will be this one. And you can see there is the empty space for this. Let's try to connect them together. Great, we've completed the bottom side of the puzzle. So we need to find this one and we need a tree. Mm. Can you see? Yes, it's this one. So 
Let's try it. Great, well done. And the next one gonna be again the tree, but on the top. And here's the part of the tail, right? So let's take foot. Great. And the last one side puzzle piece gonna be the face. Here's the face of the zebra. Let's take it. And amazing. And we just need two middle pieces. So let's try maybe this one because here's the part of the tail that what we need. And then let's put like this. Great. And let's take another one. So here is the neck of the zebra. And yes, we've completed the zebra really quickly. Good job. And let's continue with our shapes. So the next one that we're gonna take, gonna be the orange shape. And it only has one hole. And if you look at the shape board, there is only one place where we can do it. So let's count. One, two, three, and the last one, four. Great, we've completed the shape and let's take another. So we need three holes. So one, two, and three. So let's try to find them. So here are how many holes this one has. This one has four holes. One, two, three, and four. So we don't need this. So this one, how many holes it has? One, two, three, four, and five. But we need three. So the last one would be this one. So let's count together. One, two, and three. And yes, this is what we need. So we need to turn around a bit and let's do it together. One, count. Two, three, and the last one, four. Great. Well done. So let's continue with our puzzle. And the next puzzle that we have is the squirrel puzzle. Okay. And let's try to find all the puzzle pieces. So here are all puzzle pieces. Let's take them. Let's move them here. And let's start with the corner puzzle pieces. So here is the one corner puzzle piece. Here is another one. Third one. And the last one we need four. Yes. So here we can see that this is the grass and this is the sky and apples. So we're gonna move the grass here like this and the sky at the top like this. So if we look at the image on the left corner, we have apples and on the right, we have a part of the tail and the tree or the bush, right? And at the bottom, we have the baby squirrel and on the left, we have a fire camp. Great. So then let's continue with trying to find the side puzzle pieces. So here is the part of the fire camp and we can connect with the, this puzzle piece. And the next one, we need the small part of the rock. See? So let's take it. And here's the small part of the rock. Let's try to combine them. Great. And here is the tail of the baby squirrel. So let's take the tail and here's the big tail of the mama squirrel. Great. Let's take the next one. So we need a part of the tree and here is the part of the tree. So let's connect together. Great. And then let's move to the top. So we need a part of the tail and it should be the side piece. So this is this one. Great, and we need the part of the face of the squirrel. So maybe let's try this one. Amazing. And we need only two pieces in the middle with the fire camp and with the body of the squirrel. So here is the where we see the fire and here's the face of squirrel and here is the face of squirrel. So let's try. Great, well done. So then let's take this one, turn around and great. Amazing, we've completed two puzzle pieces. We've completed the squirrel puzzle piece and the zebra puzzle piece. So let's move to our shapes. So we left only a few of them. We have blue shape and the red shape. So let's take the blue shape. How many holes it has? One, two, three, four. Okay, and we need four poles. So one, two, three, and four. 
So let's count. One, two, three, and the last one, four. Okay, great, amazing. And we only left with a red shape that has one, two, three, four, five holes. And we only have only one place where we can do it, where we can put our red shape. So let's count. One, two, three, and the last one, four. Great. So we found the red shape. We found the blue shape. We found the green shape. We found the yellow shape and the orange shape. So orange shape has one hole. So yellow shape has two holes, one and two. Green shape has three holes. So one, two, three. The blue shape has four holes, one, two, three, and four. And the red shape has five holes, one, two, three, four, and five. Great. Well done, we've completed all puzzles really quickly. I see you in the next video. Great, we just finished our first game. So let's continue with the second one, let's go. And today we're gonna learn about numbers and the colors. And also we're gonna solve the elephant puzzle. Okay, let's start. Oh, what we've done, we've made a mess. And right now we need to find the blue elephant and the numbers. Okay, let's start. So first of all, let's clean up our puzzle board, okay? So let's start with the numbers. So this is number one. So we need to find the number one. Can you see the number one? Yes, here it is. Number one, great. And we need one wheel here. So let's try to find it. Okay, here it is. One wheel. Let's put it. Great. And number one is red color. And the wheel is also red color. Great. Let's continue with the number two. So we need to find it. Can you see the number two? Yes, here it is. It's number two. And it's also red color. Okay, let's place it on our board like this. Okay, and then let's try to find two red wheels. Here they are. Great, let's take them. And let's put one and two. So we have two number, number two, and it is red color. So one and two, great. So the next number that we need to find is number three. Can you see the number three? Yes, here it is, the number three. Let's take the number three and put it on a board here. Okay, so one, two, and three. And we need to find three wheels and it is yellow color, okay? So let's grab them and one, two, and three. Great. And the number three is yellow color and the wheels are also yellow color. Okay, let's continue. So the next number that we need to find is number four. And can you see the number four? Yes, here it is, number four. Okay. And it is green color, number four. And where we should place the number four? Can you see the shape? Here is the number four, so let's count. One, two, three, and four. Great. And then let's take the wheels. So we have four wheels. One, two, three, and the last one, four. Great, well done. And the next one that we're gonna pick gonna be the number five. Can you see the number five? Here is the number five, correct, well done. And number five is blue color. Okay, so let's place it on a board here. Well done. And let's count one, two, 
three, four, and five. And right now we need to find five wheels. Okay, let's try to find them. We need to, to find blue wheels. So here is one, two, three, four, and five. Let's take them and let's place it on the board. One, then two, then three, four, and the last one, five. Great. Okay. And the next one number that we have is number six. And can you see the number six? So if we're gonna look at this one, this is number six. Great. Let's take the number six and let's place it right after the number five. Right here. Great. And let's then take the six pink wheels. So let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Well done. So it's a pink color number six. Let's continue with the number seven. So can you see the number seven on this board? Here is the number seven, right, great. And the number seven is orange color. So let's place it like this. And then let's take the orange wheels. So we need all the orange wheels. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna count together. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Well done. And the next one gonna be the number eight. So let's take the number eight. Here is the number eight. And let's place it on the board right after the number seven. Well done. And the number eight is blue color. So we need to find blue wheels. Can you see the blue wheels? So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So let's put them on the pole next to the number eight. So let's do it together. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the last one, eight. Well done. So we only left with two numbers. So the next number, you know what's the number next one after the eight? It's number nine. Okay, great. So here we have the number nine. So let's put it right here. And it's a pink color, number nine. So let's take the pink wheels. So here we have all the pink wheels, right? So let's take them and let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and the last one, nine. Well done. And then the next number that we're gonna take gonna be the last one, number 10. So here's the number 10. And here we have the number 10 violet color. So let's put it here. Great. And let's take all the violet wheels and put them on the pole. Okay, so let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Well done, we've completed the numbers board, so we can continue with solving the puzzle. So we need to find the elephant. And first of all, let's find the, let's look at the blue color of the puzzle. So here is the blue color. So when we try to find the blue color, we put it away like this. Then let's look at the, is it the blue color? Yes. So let's put it here. Then can you see the blue color? Is this a blue color? Yes. Okay. Is this a blue color, this one? Yes. Okay, great. Then let's look, do we have other any blue colors? 
here is the blue color right but let's turn around again oh there is another blue color and this is the part of the elephant the ear okay here is another one blue color then the elephant nose and then let's turn around again can we see the blue color no okay can we see here blue color okay let's turn around again and see if there is a blue color no is there a blue color no yes here is the ear of the elephant okay so at the moment we found enough of the pieces to to connect them together and try to solve the elephant puzzle so let's start with the face so the face consists of ears and noses so here is the ear and here is another ear so here's the part of the eye also right so then we have a nose of the elephant like this right and here we have a legs so let's think is it goes well no so let's maybe try this one yes and then put this after after the legs next one right so we almost kind of starting to see the full picture here but we still need some uh, puzzles to find so maybe let's try to place this one here right and then another one gonna be the tail of the elephant here okay so like this so right now we found the puzzles that we could connect and we need to find new ones so what we're gonna do we're gonna try to turn around and see if there is a image of the elephant or maybe some kind of like a hint right then let's turn around this one can we see okay here is the blue color and the cloud and the elephant right so let's place it here let's turn around this oh here's the leg of the elephant right so we right away can place it down here right so let's turn around another one and see can you see maybe elephant maybe part of the elephant no okay let's let's place it away so there is another part oh i can see here the part of the elephant and i think it's the body of the elephant let's put it here so let's then take the next one so turn around can we see the part of the elephant yes here is the ear of the elephant and here is the tree so maybe we can turn around like this and place right here great we still need to find some pieces but we almost done great job so i can i think this is the head of the elephant and and we can place it here connect with this one great let's turn around again this one and see the way okay here is the flowers right and here we can see on the puzzle piece here is also the flowers right so what we can do we can try to place right now these pieces together you see great so the next one we have is the mountain right and here we have a tree so uh, let's try to find the tree so maybe it's this one no it doesn't go here well it's not that tree that we need so maybe let's try this one because here is the small part of the elephant also yes great job and then let's take the ear here's the ear of the elephant yes so we only need to turn around this puzzle piece to try to solve it okay here it is right like this great so we solved the elephant puzzle and it was not that easy but we accomplished it great well done and we also learned about the numbers so we learned about number one number two number three number four number five number six number seven number eight number nine and number ten great well done see you in the next video oh wow this second game was spectacular okay so it's time for the game number three let's go and today we're gonna learn 
about the numbers and we're also going to solve the lion puzzle. So let's start. Oh, okay. Let's start to find the numbers and then let's do also and find those puzzle pieces. Okay. So the first number that we're going to start could be and eight and it's a red color. So let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Great. And then let's try to solve the lion puzzle. So first what we're gonna do, we're gonna try to find the lion, the parts of the lion. So here's the tail of the lion. Here is the legs of the lion. Here is another legs of the lion. Okay, so let's turn around them. And I think this is the hair of the lion. Okay, let's turn around. And here you can see the lion is smiling. Great. Let's turn around, let's keep going. Okay, so here is another part of the lion. What we do, we just turn around and see if there is the lion, right? So this is not the lion, this is monkey. This is the giraffe. Okay, here is the body of the lion. Great. Let's turn around next one and see. Yes, here's another part of the lion. Okay, great. We found a lot of pieces already, right? So let's turn around again and see. Okay, here we have the trees, but trees also are the part of this puzzle. So maybe this one we're gonna leave and put aside and try to solve it later. So what we're trying to do is just trying to find the lion on those images. There is no lion. Then we put aside, Let's try to find it. Is there is the lion? No. Try another one. Is there is the lion? I cannot see. Okay. And another one. Okay. This seems to be the lion with the yellow body and also the tail. Okay. Let's place it here. And then another. Okay. Is there is the lion? No. Okay. Then we only left with two last ones that we need to check. If there is the yellow color of the lion? No. Is there is the yellow color? Okay, here is the lion. Here is the eyes and the nose and the ears. Okay, great. So, we found the puzzle pieces that we can try to solve. So, let's start to solve by adding the face in the center, right? And here we have the mouth of the lion. So, we can connect them together like this. Okay, so the next one, we need to you we need to keep going with the face. So here's another part, right? Like this. And here is could be the tail, but the tail is here. So we need to turn around like this. Okay, great. It's coming well, the puzzle itself. So there we have a leg. So Let's try to put this one here and another one here. Okay, so the legs are ready. And then what we can do, remember this part of, of uh, the lion and the tail, it could go here, right? So this is the part of the leg actually. Let's try. Great, well done. Okay, we keep going with this puzzle and try to find all the pieces. So. Could it go this one here? No. Okay, maybe if we're gonna put it on the side like this and try again, yes, worked pretty well. And then let's take this one here. You can see here is the ear of the lion. So let's try to put it here. And there is another part of the lion is here. All right, let's turn around and yes. So you can see we completed this in no time. And then there is another part. You see here is the brown hair. So let's try to place it. Yes. Maybe later we can change, but right now it looks good. So let's move back to those puzzle pieces. And what we're gonna try to find is the brown color. Can you see here's the brown color, right? So maybe let's put aside at the moment. 
and here is let's let's turn around and see if there is other brown color no there is no brown color let's again turn around and see no okay let's do it again can we see the brown okay here is the brown color right okay so maybe let's let's try to put this together like this so this one we're gonna move here and i think we should turn around like this okay and this one here is the part of the cloud and here is the part of the cloud let's try to combine them here is another thing here we can see that there is the rainbow here is the rainbow so this is the start of the rainbow right great well done okay and then we only left with these puzzle pieces so what we're gonna do and try we need to find the trees we need to find the green color right but there is a lot of green colors here in in those puzzles so let's try to start with the rainbow so here is the part of the rainbow and the cloud and what we should do we should take it to the corner like this right so we've completed the rainbow so we only left with two last ones so here you can see here you can see here is the tree and the we need to find the bottom part of the tree okay so let's turn around and see if we have something right okay uh, this is could be the tiger this is the cloud this is the tree but it's the upper side of the tree so this one does not contain the bottom part of the tree let's move on with this one and i think this could be the part of the tree we can try no it doesn't go well here so here's the difference in a bit in a color and we need to find the also the cloud should be there okay so let's try next one can you see i think it might be this one so here is the ladybug and the flower and if you could see here here is the small part of the flower so let's try and yes well done and then another that we're gonna try gonna be the tree itself so i think it might be this one because here is the small part of the cloud and here is the basically the tree so let's try it out yes well done we've completed the lion puzzle really fast you're doing so well and let's start to find those numbers so let's pick star shape and turn around and see here is the number seven and this is the pink color so let's count one two three four five six and seven great and then let's pick next one so next one that we're gonna pick gonna be the number one and it's a also pink color and it looks like a flower shape okay and, and where we have the number one can you see where we should place it yes right the number one goes here it always starts with the number one so when we start to count we say one two so one is always first okay let's try to find number two so number two is the heart shape right so we need to find the heart shape can you see the heart shape here here is the heart shape great well done and it's a red color heart shape so let's turn around yes and we have here the number two okay and let's count one and two like this amazing and then after two it always comes the number three and we need to find the triangle shape right the orange triangle shape can you see the orange triangle shape can you see it yes it is here great and here we have the number three it is orange right and why it's triangle shape because it has three sides one two and three great let's place it here after the number two so the next number that we need to find gonna be the number four blue shape and we have here two blue shapes but this this shape is circle shape and this one has 
four sides that what we need for this clock. So let's take it, turn around and see. Yes, it's number four. Great. Let's put it like this. Amazing. And then another one that we're going to try to look for is going to be number five. So where is the number five? And it's a green color. We have two shapes here with the green color. Which one of them is number five? What do you think? Yes, correct. It's this one. Number five. And it's a green color. Okay, let's take it. And it goes four and five. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five. And this one is six. And let's look at the where is the number six we need the yellow color okay so this one are two yellow colors so this could be the number six and this one could be number six which one you think could be the number six yes it's this one correct let's take it and it is number six and then let's place it on the clock board like this great and let's count together one two three four five six seven eight and next one is nine okay we need the orange color shape let's look at those shapes can you see the orange color shape yes it is here this one let's take it and turn around yes it's number nine that's what we needed so after number eight, it always goes number nine. Great. Okay, and then the next one number is number 10. So the 10 is blue color. So this one is blue color. Let's turn around and see. Yes, correct, it's number 10. And where we should place the number 10, can you see? It's nine and this one number is 10. Great, good job. So the next one number is number 11 and it's a green shade. So let's try to find the green shade. This one. Yes. Okay, let's turn around and see. And it's 11 green. Okay, let's take this one and place it on the board. Can you see the 11? Here is the 11 and here we have the 11. Let's fit together. Great. And then the next one number is number 12. And we only left with one shape, the yellow one. So let's turn around. Yes, it is number 12. Let's take it and place it after number 11, like this. Great. Let's take our clock to the position. So here we have one o'clock. Here we have two o'clock. Here we have three o'clock. Here we have four o'clock. And this one is five o'clock. This one is six. And the next one, you know it, it is seven o'clock. And the next one is eight o'clock. And after eight, it always goes nine o'clock. And after nine, it is 10 o'clock. And after 10, it is 11 o'clock. And the last one is 12 o'clock. Well done, we found all the numbers and we made the penguin happy and we also found all the puzzles and we solved the lion puzzle. So here we have the lion, the ladybug, the flowers, the tail of the lion, the trees, the clouds and the rainbow. Well done. Wow, those three games were amazing and awesome. See you in the next video. Thank you, kids. Bye. See you next time. Don't forget to subscribe.